Dearest Talmidim, it is so exciting to be teaching Torah with all of the TABC alumni. Here we are ready to launch the summer. As a young man, I remember my summers as a chanich in Machanim Shava. Uh, in my cooler days, I played some serious hockey in Camp Lavi. And I remember going to the NCSY Summer Kolel, being a counselor in Moshava, being a counselor in NCSY Kolel, learning in Morasha Kolel. And for me, literally, summers were always the highlight of the year ever since probably fifth grade going to sleepaway camp. And it was not only a fun time, it was a time of genuine growth. I still look back at my summer experiences as moments where I grew, whether it was my personality, it was religiously, socially, whatever it may have been, the summer is certainly a time of growth. I thought it would be appropriate to teach a few Rambams and connect them to an avoda, something to work on over our summer experience. The Rambam famously writes in Hilchos Tam Torah at the end of Parag Gimel, Afal pi she mitzvah Certainly it's a mitzvah to study Torah both during the daytime and the nighttime. Ein adam lomad rochach masa ele balayla. But a person learns most of his Torah, the Torah that sticks with him is the Torah learned during the nighttime. It's a funny thing. Why, why would that be? Certainly the Rambam is not making this up himself. There are earlier sources about this. But maybe B'derech Josh or maybe B'derech Pshat, one can argue that the advantage of learning Torah during the nighttime as opposed to the daytime is that there are no distractions. One is not Torah. One is not being drawn in a million directions during the nighttime. During the daytime, one has to be Kovei Itim. And yes, you might have a little bit of a Musr Seder, a Halacha Seder. You know, you listen to a shir in the car, whatever it may be. But at nighttime, the world stops. And you can learn like a mensch. And in a similar vein in the summer, the world stops to some degree, and maybe we can learn a little bit more like a mensch. And ideally, the whole summer should have the tone of learning Torah Belayla, where it could be a Torah that sticks with us, because we're not being dragged in a million directions. We can learn. The summer, unfortunately, though, can also be a time of tremendous yurida, where people waste their time. And I want to just make a highlight uh, that my Rebbe Moreno Reb Torsky, Reb Mayor Torsky of Hawaii points out that Rambam famously says that the shofar on Rosh Hashanah wakes us up to do tshuva. And in Hilchas Tshuva, Baragim Allah the Rambam writes that people who are awakened by the shofar are Elu HaShochachim Nesa Emes Behevle Hazman. Meaning, tshuva is not only to correct a virus. There's a concept of just wasting time. The shofar reminds us to wake up from Hevle Hazman. And even if we might not have the most structured summer program this summer, what a Ben Torah always has to recognize is that we cannot fall prey to Hevle Hazman. Whatever you do, it should be productive this summer. So I give everyone a bracha that they should certainly be productive and maybe even learn Torah Benachas, Menuchas and Nefesh. And if you need to take a break from learning, that's also okay. As long as it's bederech of avoda and growth and your kavana is, I need a little bit of break to start a little stronger. That's also a mitzvah. And whether you have the ability to work and learn, to learn only, to take a break, it should all be with the perspective I'm trying to grow and connect to Hashem. And I wish everyone a meaningful and productive summer experience. Thank you so much.